Hey, it's Eddie and Care with Junk Lovers, and today we are going to be answering your questions like, what is the coolest thing you've ever found? Or have you encountered any ghostly spirits? We've been wanting to make this video for a while and we finally have time, so let's get to it. Our first question is from Wanda, and it is, do you ever get a sinister ghostly vibe from a place? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you do? Yes. You do? When? Yes, there was one that was really dark. Okay. Even during the daytime, it was really dark in there. And you've seen it. It's the couch. Oh, yeah. It was spooky yeah. because going in, there were like animal bones. Probably from a cow or something. Or pigs, hogs, outside, I don't know. Outside, like outside like the Like for house. a dog or something. That's... So there were bones around the yard. I forgot about this. And I then forget about we it. went in and yeah. on the couch, there was some stuff and it was covered with a sheet. And it looked like there could have been a person sleeping under the sheet, it just did. squatting in there. We were scared. I remember you were really scared because you went in. I made okay. I made him go in to check it all out because I was a little scared. And he, um, I, I went in behind him. And when he went in the living room, he like turned around and he just motioned to me. He was like, "Go!" And like it was like really scary. So I ran outside and we get out there and he's like. I think there's somebody on the couch. So, okay. I would say overall, as far as a presence, we've not felt any spirits or anything. There have been some creepy moments, like that was really creepy, yeah. but there wasn't like any real spirits. So, no. I think that answers that question. Nope. Maybe no not. No ghosts. So this has been asked by multiple people. Have you ever found anything criminal, like drugs, dead bodies, blood? Well, thank God we've not actually found any, like, dead human bodies, but we did find some dead deer at one of our first really big jobs, actually. Um, we were surveying the property to figure out what all we needed to do, and there was this big barn, and we go in, and there's this tote, and this head of a deer is, like, hanging out of the tote, and we freaked out a little bit. It was, um, it was gross. It was gross. There were two coolers. Yeah, there were two deer, two coolers, and so like two we, deer. Yeah, so we had to call the ranger to find out like if we were allowed to just throw them away, and mm -hmm. they said put them out in the field so that vultures and things could eat them. So that's what we did. But I don't think any vultures or anything wanted to eat that. We've not really found anything super criminal. Mm -hmm. I guess we're lucky. Yeah. I'm sure the day will come, though, and we'll keep you posted on what happens with that. Our next question is from Kyle, and he asked, if our business continues to grow, would we consider franchising? Yeah. <laughs> Let's just grow. If we grow like a crazy amount, yeah. Are you yeah. interested in franchising with junk lovers? Comment <laughs> in the comments below. Our next question is from Diana. Are you a solo team or are we expanding to bring on other ambitious couples? So right now we're solo, just us. Yeah, and I like it that way, I but do. right now, mm -hmm. because we're not overwhelmed, we're not getting so much work that we can't handle it. Maybe one day? Maybe one day. But not today. <laughs> not today. We don't just want yeah. any people. And we have to have the revenue to hire those people. That's probably the biggest issue. We don't have that yet. Is right now we're not there yet. We don't have the, the capacity. We don't have the enough jobs coming in to do that. So it's just us. Yeah. Our next questions are from Liz. When you first started this job, how sore was your body? LOL. Woo! Man. That's, that's a good question. That is a good question. Um, Very sore. Uh, we were sore. My I, feet, my feet were really bad. Um, mm -hmm. I thought when we first started, I was actually like really worried about my feet because I developed plantar fasciitis really early on. And there was one job I even wore my UFO sandals while we were cleaning up construction debris. That is not good. They were open toed sandals because we were walking on concrete and I could not wear anything else because those shoes are so comfortable. Yeah. Before you got plantar fasciitis, I had plantar fasciitis. Mm -hmm. I got shots in my heels. She didn't have the shots. She didn't get that bad. But I was in really bad shape for a while where I couldn't even walk some days. Um, I don't like shots. But then we started this business and we started doing a lot of manual labor. And they hurt all the time. They did. 
But, but now they don't hurt at all. But we went to Running Zoles in E-Town and we got us some really good shoes. And I think that really helped. So shout out to Running Zoles in E-Town. This one's a fun one. What is the thing that scares the crap out of both of you? Well, this one's really easy for me. Uh, what scares me, babe? Wasps. Mm -hmm. Bees, wasps, mm -hmm. hornets. Butterflies, if she thinks it's no. a wasp at first, <laughs> anything that's kind of in the air darting around yeah. makes her cringe a little bit. The most scared I was was when I thought someone was sleeping on the couch. That's when I wanted to get out of there. Mm -hmm. I did not want to be in there. In heights, if there's something we got to get really high up, I'm not a fan. We're on our last question, and it is our most asked question ever. <laughs> that's stupid. Ever. Everything's the best. Ever. I've flipped my hair a lot in this video, and I don't well, know about stop. it. We're on our very last question, and it is our most asked question. What is our favorite find? What's your favorite find, babe? Well, I haven't found anything personally that I just loved for myself, like nothing that I collect or anything like that, but we found a shed. Mm -hmm. We were given a shed. We were told to remove a shed, but it was a really nice like, One of those shed. plastic sheds. Yeah, like it was the, really nice. Mm -hmm. And so we took that apart and it was really easy to put back up and we got it in our backyard now. Mm -hmm. Holds Use, all of our garden stuff. Yeah, and lawnmower and rakes. Also an anvil back in the room. There was like this really dark. That was really cool. Yeah. The it, anvil was it cool. It was cool. I hadn't seen a lot of anvils. My favorite find was a witch's cauldron that was in the back of this shed. And I just thought it was really cool because the shed, like the back of it really did seem kind of like a witch's dungeon. And then there was this big cast iron cauldron. It was in perfect shape. And that was probably my favorite find. And then my second favorite find, we found a Super Nintendo game called Earthbound. And I had never heard of it, but evidently it's a really rare video game. Yeah, it's like the holy grail of video games. And I think you almost threw it away. I did. I almost threw it away. Because, because it was in a tote with mm -hmm. other, like, tools and weird stuff. From a barn. Just nasty barn. Yeah. Chicken poop in the tote or whatever. And so, yeah. yeah, I almost threw it away. I'd rather find a baseball card. Like, yeah. if we found baseball cards that were worth a lot, yeah. that would be the ultimate for me. Just because when I was a kid, I collected cards. Yeah. That would be fun. I would just like to find a lot of gold and silver. Like... Mm -hmm. Not because I want the jewelry, but because gold is worth a lot. I would love to yeah. find treasure. I want to find treasure mm -hmm. and money. That's what I want to find. Thanks so much for watching. We had a lot of fun making this video and answering your questions. Yeah, and if you have any more questions, just put them in the comments and we'll answer them in a future video. Bye.